Hello, my name's Elaine Spink. I'm Assistant Head of Primary Programmes with Responsibility for Partnership and I'd like to talk through some of the main points about observing and giving feedback to students. Teachers are very good at giving lots of ongoing and constructive feedback to the students on a regular basis and the students are very appreciative of that. This also needs formalising through recorded observations and we do this by means of the Record of Lesson Observation or ROLO. The pro forma for recording your observation, the Record of Lesson Observation or ROLO, can be handwritten or completed electronically. The format of the ROLO matches the SBT report and the teacher's standards that are appropriate for this placement. So the ROLO will support the writing of the interim and final report. The observation does not need to be for the entire lesson, but needs to be for sufficient time for the student to be able to demonstrate their abilities. Not all aspects of the ROLO need to be completed every time, but across the placement, all areas need to have received appropriate coverage. The first section on professional responsibilities covers aspects broader than those of a single lesson or session. For example, it asks, has the student made an effort to meet and greet parents and to communicate with them when, when necessary? But the students do need feedback on the rollo of this in order to evidence the, the standards. The standards down the right-hand column include prompt questions to support your comments. Your comments need to identify strengths and development points within each area being focused upon. For subject knowledge and understanding, every ROLO must feed back on the student's subject knowledge and their ability to impart this to the children. Specific examples are really helpful here for the student. There are examples of completed ROLOs on the website. ROLOs must also comment on the impact upon the children's learning. You are feeding back to the student on how their preparation for, their delivery and their assessment of the session will impact on closing the gap. Targets identified in the final section of the ROLO need to be clear and smart. It is less helpful to quote a standard in the target box and much more helpful to illustrate what this might look like, including a so that statement. It is very helpful if comments within the ROLO reflect the language of excellent, good or requires improvement as in the grading criteria so that students can track their level of progress towards the standards. This will support their PDR documentation and the PDR process um, and their use of the grading criteria both independently and with you. The student should receive a sense from the ROLO of how you thought the lesson went, especially if written and more detailed verbal feedback will not be impossible until later. More detailed and specific verbal feedback needs to be given the same day and written feedback should be given within 24 hours of the observation. In giving your feedback, please ensure that the student has a clear indication of what they need to focus on as a priority and how they need to address this. A subsequent ROLO should then comment on the progress they've made towards the target students could identify this target on their planning. The student has an entitlement to a minimum of one formal observation and ROLO per week. In some cases it may well be possible to increase this, especially when only focusing on certain aspects of the ROLO. Please refer to the placement specific school-based training handbook for guidance on curriculum areas that require observations in this placement. For further support and guidance on observing and giving feedback, please see the examples on the Partnership website or don't hesitate to get in touch with one of the Partnership team via the Placements Office. Thank you for your role in supporting and training the next generation of primary teachers.